Hello, I want to tell you about a scan that allows us to measure the amount of fuel you have for brain activity. It's been long hypothesized that individuals with ME-CFS or myalgic encephalomyelitis, chronic fatigue syndrome, have insufficient fuel for their brains. And that is why they feel so profoundly fatigued and unable to think and concentrate and why they can't exert sustained effort because the brain simply doesn't have what it needs to operate normally. Now we have the technology to test this idea, though to my knowledge, it has never been done before in MECFS. So I wanna show you what the scan is and tell you my plans for using it to better understand MECFS. So to start, the energy from the brain comes from adenosine triphosphate or ATP. Let's take a quick look at ATP. A stands for the adenosine group here, and the T and the P stand for triphosphate, or three phosphate groups here, here, and here. And the energy for all the processes in your brain is contained in the bonds between the phosphate groups, primarily between the second and the third phosphate groups. And when these bonds are broken, the energy is made available for your cells. So if you don't have enough ATP in your brain, you will not have normal brain activity. And not only will you have fatigue and problems with cognition, but the lack of energy can cause the immune cells to act erratically and that can cause neuroinflammation. So for those reasons, it would be great to determine if your ATP is low. And if it is, we can focus on ways to correct that problem. So the way to measure ATP in the brain is by using magnetic resonance spectroscopy, which uses an MRI scanner. But uh, the issue is most MRI scanners are not equipped to measure ATP because almost all MRI scans use a hydrogen-based coil. To measure ATP, we have to have a coil that detects phosphorus instead of hydrogen. And if we can measure phosphorus, that would allow us to see the characteristic part of ATP, which is these three phosphate groups. Now, the special coils, the special head coils that measure phosphorus, they can be made and they can be purchased. And when you use one of these coils, it gives us a spectrum like uh, this one I'm showing now. You can see levels of several chemicals in the brain. And most importantly, here are the concentrations of those three phosphate groups of ATP, the ones I just showed you. So if you have deficient ATP in the brain, these spikes will be suppressed, or I guess in severe cases, they may be non-existent. And so this would very uh, easily show us whether you have a normal amount of ATP or a somewhat diminished amount or a completely non-existent amount of ATP, which would give us a lot of guidance on um, possible treatments. Um, so I think this is really worth exploring. This is a new type of scan that I have not run before. Now we have to get the phosphorus head coil first. Here's a generic picture of what the head coils look like. And they cost around $100,000. So they're, they're pretty expensive for just one piece of equipment. Now a colleague at my institution, Dr. Mishra, is applying for that funding right now. And once we've secured the funding and installed the coil and optimized the scanning sequences and we're started running participants, I will give you an update and let you know how things are going. So I'm really uh, looking forward to running this test. And if you want to hear more about why I'm so interested in this, check out my earlier videos, particularly the one I did about two weeks ago. That's about all this lactate that we're seeing in the MECFS brain, because lactate in the brain is a sign that the brain is trying to compensate for low levels of ATP. So I hope all that made sense. I mainly just wanna show you that we're trying to tackle this problem from many different angles. We're using different techniques and different tools in the hopes that one or more of these will lead to the breakthrough that we need to defeat MECFS and related issues. So thanks for listening. I hope you can come back and I will have a new video very soon. Bye.